In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the double breast vaccinator in the field. The video will go over how to set up the vaccine, the on-screen navigation process, and how to vaccinate birds using the double breast vaccinator. The video will also touch on the various warning signals, as well as recommendations on the maintenance of the device. For detailed instructions on the setup and maintenance, please watch the double breast vaccinator setup, operation, and cleaning video. Part 1. Vaccine Setup In this section, we will go over proper vaccine setup for the double breast vaccinator. Prior to setup, ensure that the condition and temperature of the vaccine is adequate and adheres to recommendations by the manufacturer. Do not use vaccines that appear to be damaged or contaminated. When setting up the vaccine, first pierce the top of the vaccine with a sterile needle. Then, insert the drip tube through the same hole. Place the bottle upside down in the vaccine holder. Once the bottle is in the proper position, open the valve on the drip tube and release the roller clamp so the vaccine begins flowing into the drip chamber. You can gently squeeze the bottle to increase the vaccine flow rate during the priming process. Once the vaccine has traveled near the end of the drip tube, attach the line to the syringe. The syringe is designed to deliver a fixed volume of vaccine. Pay careful attention to the label to ensure the correct syringe is used for each vaccine. After the drip tube is attached to the syringe, place the line through the air bubble sensor and secure the metal closure. When using two different vaccines, pay careful attention to the syringe and tubing so the correct vaccine is delivered to the right location on the breast. If needles are not in place, refer to the needle install process in the double breast vaccinator setup, operation and cleaning video and DBV manual for detailed instructions. Make sure the needle angle and depth are appropriate for the type of bird. To prime the vaccine, follow on-screen prompts. Press the button on the side of the device to manually pump the vaccine through the line and syringe. Priming is complete when no air remains in the tube and one full dose of the vaccine dispenses from the needle. The amount of vaccine being dispensed should be monitored periodically to ensure the dose is accurate and consistent. This can be done using a graduated cylinder that is provided with the DBV. Be very cautious of accidental injections when checking the volume being dispensed. After priming the line and checking the volume, reattach breastplate and backplate to the device. The screen will change from setup to on-screen navigation. When switching bottles, repeat steps for vaccine setup. Also, note that warning and sound settings can be adjusted on the DBV. By following the instructions in the double breast vaccinator setup, operation, and cleaning video. Part 2 Operating the Double Breast Vaccinator. With the device turned on, vaccine setup complete, and settings adjusted, the double breast vaccinator is ready for use. For most efficient results, two person crews are recommended for the vaccination process one to serve as the operator, and one as the bird collector. Remember to always handle birds appropriately, using techniques that are in accordance with good animal welfare practices. To begin the process, the bird collector will remove the bird that will get vaccinated from its housing. Then the bird collector will hand the bird to the operator, who will be stationed near the DBV. When positioning the bird, use one hand to hold both wings, with the breast facing away, and the other hand to hold and stabilize the legs. This should be done securely, but gently, and birds should remain calm and comfortable when held in this position. The operator will then position the bird on the breastplate, where sensors will indicate whether the bird is positioned properly. Even pressure should be applied to the back of the bird until the sensor indicates that the bird is properly positioned. This is indicated by all three sensors turning green at the same time. Once the bird is positioned correctly, the needle will deploy and vaccination will complete. This is indicated by the vaccination OK message. If a bird is released too early, you will see an early release warning. When this happens, reposition the bird to revaccinate, since it is likely that the bird only received a partial dose. Caution: To avoid needle stick, do not wrap fingers around the bird near the breastplate. 
In the event of an accidental injection, please seek immediate medical attention. After vaccination is complete, make sure to separate vaccinated from non-vaccinated birds. Repeat this process until all birds are vaccinated. Periodically monitor vaccination count on the device as well as the volume of vaccine remaining, as well as the volume remaining in the bottle. Replace vaccines and needles as needed. Note that other vaccines, such as those administered by eyedrop or wing web, may be given before or after birds are vaccinated with the DBV. Part 3. Maintenance and Storage Routine maintenance and cleaning is important in the daily operation of the double breast vaccinator. Once vaccination is complete for the day, follow the recommended cleaning and storage procedures outlined in the instructions provided by Zoetis. Consumables such as needles, drip tubes, and O-rings have limited lifespans. Adhere to the manufacturer recommended replacement schedule, which is provided in the instruction manual. Replace needles after 1,000 vaccinations or sooner, depending on the needle condition. Timing the replacement of the needle with a vaccine is a good way of remembering to replace the needle periodically. This also adds efficiency to the vaccination process, as it limits downtime. Replace the syringe every 3 million vaccinations. Replace O-rings every 100,000 vaccinations. Replace drip tube after each vaccination day. When replacing parts, make sure the device is clean and free of obvious debris. Make sure to replace parts according to manufacturer recommended guidelines. If additional maintenance is required, please refer to the manual for specific instructions. By watching this video, you should have a better understanding of how to operate the double breast vaccinator in the field. When used correctly, the device will allow producers to vaccinate birds properly and efficiently. Contact your Zoetis service representative for any additional questions regarding the setup, operation, maintenance, or repair of the double breast vaccinator.